ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? This is Jacob here from JC Tech Spot, and today we are going to be doing our first um, official troubleshoot session. And today, actually, we have here an iPhone 5S, so right here, it is actually currently jailbroken running iOS 9.3.3, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at some of these settings. Um, as you can see, it's running 9.3.3. Um, right now, it actually is in safe mode, and so one of the problems a lot of people have been having is, uh, you know, random booting into safe mode when they're jailbroken. And so, actually, I have been working on this new phone for about two days now, um, just, you know, getting it jailbroken, getting a lot of, you know, compatible tweaks. Just so you know, all the tweaks that have been installed on this device are completely compatible with iOS 9.3.3. So, a lot of you guys are saying, well, the problem is, is that you have incompatible tweaks. That's actually not the problem. I think a problem possibly could be that this is a 5S and not the newest version. And some of these are actually meant for the newest version. But regardless, as you can see, we have Cydia. It does work. Um, even in safe mode, Cydia always works. Regardless, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to go into normal mode. And basically this video, it's going to be really lax. All we're doing is basically trying to fix the problem. Try to make it so it doesn't randomly reboot into safe mode. So we're going to go ahead and exit safe mode. There are some specific things that it does that actually cause it to boot into safe mode. And I'll get into all of those in just a minute. So this video could be lengthy, it could be short, I don't really know, but, so here we are, we're on our um, screen, as you can see, it's jailbroken, all the tweaks working, um, you can see barrel right there, um, and if we go into settings, I'm actually going to go ahead into settings, and we're going to, I'm going to show you guys a lot of the tweaks I have that's same from safe mode, here we go, if we scroll down, you can see all these tweaks, so starting here, just a ton of tweaks, over a hundred of them are installed on this device, just, you know, all kinds of cool tweaks, some in-app tweaks. But regardless, we're um, basically, I think recently, when we were getting to the end, we installed, at the very end of installing tweaks, we started to notice a lot more safe mode. A lot more of that booting into safe mode. We, uh, you know, took away some tweaks, still was booting into safe mode, so we're not exactly sure what's causing it. We think it's one tweak, possibly, or it could just be a combination of tweaks. Either way, you know, we can see we have our, you know, control center, that's tweaked. Our notification center as well is tweaked. We go ahead and pull that down. You know, just, you know, really, I think it has a fresh look, and I think the chill breaking is really helpful. So, regardless, guys, we're going to go ahead and show you some safe mode tendencies. First of all, simply locking the device. If we go ahead and put the device, lock it like that, and then if you go ahead and press the home button, it does not come on. It will take actually about five seconds, and then it will boot into safe mode. So, really weird. Um, so, it possibly could have something to do with the lock screen, but as you know, usually if something is bad on the lock screen, if you restart and restart your springboard from safe mode, it will go in an infinite safe mode loop, and then you're pretty much screwed. Unless you can get into Cydia from safe mode, which fortunately we can, in case anything bad happens. So another thing that can cause safe mode sometimes is going into settings and selecting the wallpaper option. If you select that, it will automatically boot into safe mode. Um, whereas a lot of the other uh, setting selections, they just continue on and working as normal. So... I haven't tested everything out yet. As we said, this is just, you know, a troubleshoot, sh troubleshoot session. This is kind of what we do when we come across a problem and we can't find an immediate solution. This is basically what we do here at JC Tech Spot, is we experiment. And so, um, as you can see, the home screen working fine. We're going to, if you open Cydia from normal mode, so once again, you know, everything is fine. Using virtual home features, once again, you know, everything works fine. And all control center, it seems like everything works fine. Torch, uh, let's see, the clock app. Everything seems fine. So everything seems fine from the control center. We're going into airplane mode. Once again, everything seems fine. So yeah, I mean, everything seems to work perfectly there. Um, let's see, maybe if we... I think what we think is that it's something to do with something on the home screen. Because as you know, when we do do that wallpaper, it just completely crashes. And as you know, the wallpaper provides options like your access to your photos. And things like that. So we're going to go ahead and do this. And we're going to try to open our photos. Photo library. And we'll see what it does. And then we'll go ahead and we'll look at some of our recent tweaks after that. And see if we can find anything. So if we go to our camera. Everything's fine there. Tap, tap, flip. Once again, working fine. Well, my hair's a little messed up here. <laughs> tap, tap, flip. So everything's fine there. If we go into our recent photos. And we go to all photos. Hmm, everything is fine there, um, so it's not it clearly doesn't seem to be something with our photos. We have a lot in here, random photos. Okay, so that's not it, and we can automatically clearly go back to camera flash. We can you know keep that thing on it. Everything seems to work. We take a photo, still same thing. 
So it's clearly not that, so it can't be something from the photo library. It could be something with the home screen display. We were thinking anemone earlier. We were thinking that could be something because that's something we recently applied. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove anemone and try that again. So let's go ahead into settings. No, not settings. Sorry about that. I need to go to Cydia. Cydia. And we'll, after we remove anemone, we'll see if it boots in a safe mode. And we may try installing another basics so we could see if it boots in a safe mode. So we're going to go to, um, let's see, we're going to go to install, wait for that to reload. Then we'll go to anemone and we're going to remove it. All right, so anemone, here we go, not that. We need to go to anemone and we're going to go ahead and remove anemone. So let's try this and we're going to remove it. This takes a little while, I know. The camera's not focusing for some reason, sorry about that. All right, we're great. It's about done, so it doesn't shouldn't really matter. Everything's working fine here. Another thing it cost, cost we could do is we got this thing called, I believe it was Polert, which basically makes full screen notifications on screen. So we'll have to try all that. Restart the springboard. Let's go and let's see if it boots in a safe mode. If it doesn't, that's I guess that's an improvement. If it does, well, I guess that's completely normal. taking the time to load as you can see the tweaks at the top everything is still working fine and i know it's like the, some of the other tweaks i we installed them way at the beginning and everything was working fine until just recently when we started installing a couple more tweaks all right so we're just waiting there we go it did not boot into safe mode that's actually pretty good um let's make sure here everything's working fine so anemone is gone and we're going to go ahead and try the wallpaper again um hit that again Okay, it actually worked. So that that's fantastic. So um, wallpaper is now working. So we're thinking, and we're going to go ahead and reinstall Anemone and see if that is actually truly the problem causer right here. So that's how you do it, basically. So now we can see we've made we've made steps in the right direction. But yeah, once again, just to show you guys again, Anemone is gone. And clearly now, here we go. If we check in settings, we go to wallpaper. It still works, so we think it might have been anemone that was causing the problem. So we're going to go here, search up for anemone. Anemone. So right there, um, we're going to go ahead and install it from the anemone team, just the official anemone. Install and confirm. I do not think we had a pirated version of anemone before. I'm pretty sure we installed this exact version. We didn't get the insanely R or by your apple repository versions of anemone. I believe we had the real anemone from the anemone team. And I've never had this problem with anemone before. It might just be the fact that our tweaks, sometimes if you, you get so many, it starts to fill up and that anemone might have been like a big one, a big ticket tweet. It's just because it is an application. So if this actually works, then I'll, re I'll uninstall it and install iFile and see if that does anything. <clears throat> So we just wait for it to load up here. We're going to restart the springboard. If it boots in a safe mode, then we know we're on to something. If it doesn't boot in a safe mode, we go back to wallpaper and it works. Then we're going to try to install iFile and see what that does. Because I know that's another big ticket tweak. It takes up a lot of space. All right, so let's go ahead and restart the springboard. Wait a couple more seconds. Here we go. <clears throat> yeah, this is essentially the process we go through. We just do a lot of experimenting and safe testing. Um, you know, when we find a problem, we this is pretty much how we fix it. And this is how we make our, a lot of our tutorial videos on how to fix stuff. Alright, so as we wait for the app, it is taking a while. Okay, so it did not boot into safe mode, so I guess that's a step in the right direction in some ways. So, Anemone is installed. We're going to go ahead and open it once to get rid of the, um, bre uh, the little badge thing. So there we go. So let's go back to settings and try to open wallpaper once again. Okay, so that crashed. So clearly anemone it seems like it's causing the problem. We could probably go, and there we go, safe mode. Actually, now that I think about it, we might actually want to try uninstalling. A, might, we might want to try to uninstall iCleaner. Actually, no, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to exit safe mode, and I'm going to use iCleaner to clean out all unneeded stuff, and maybe that could be keeping something from running. So we're going to go ahead and use iCleaner. So there we go, everything's fine. Anemone seems to be causing some sort of problem. 
Um, we're going to go to eye cleaner and clear out the device. So let's go here, clean, wait for that to do its thing. <clears throat> and then we're going to come back and see if that has any effect on anything. We haven't had a safe mode boot loop yet, so that's really the main positive thing, is that we've always been able to reboot back into normal jailbroken mode. Um, that's the thing, we have never gotten to a safe safe mode loop. So we know that's really good. So we know our problem can't be too much. It can't be too hard to figure out, but we do know it's there's some sort of problem being caused here. Sorry about the blur on my screen. These iPad cameras having struggle, having trouble um, uh, zooming here. Alright, there we go. So our device is rebooting. Hopefully it won't reboot into safe mode. Hopefully it'll boot into normal mode. It might boot in safe mode. Nope, normal. Okay, that's good. So let's go over here. We've used eye cleaner. Um, we're going to open an Emony. Okay, so that works fine. We're going to go ahead and close all apps here, and we're going to try to reopen the wallpaper thing. Wallpaper and settings. Okay, so we have a, we have once again safe mode loop. Okay, so clearly it seems like anemone is causing a problem, or it's just that we're out of space. So we're going to go ahead and exit safe mode, restart that. We're going to remove anemone and replace it with iFile and see what happens. So this way you can pretty much see if it's just something wrong with storage, or if it's something with... I mean, clearly the device has plenty of storage. The device on itself has, I believe, 9 something gigabytes left. So if we go into general, let me check that. It has 9.4 gigs left. Of space, so that's a, that's good. But you know the tweaks they take up their own little separate thing. So we're gonna go back into Cydia and we're going to remove an Emony. <clears throat> I know this might not be the same for all of us, but if we can figure out if we install iFile and it does the same thing, then we know there's a problem with storage. I think it might also be the fact that it's something with wallpaper. Just the fact that an Emony is a themer and wallpaper is essentially kind of like changing the theme, but just changing the background. So we're going to remove an Emony. <clears throat> So it might be something there. It might be that the Anemone app is co not coming out. It can't come up on the little screen that it shows. So it's just taking a little bit long. Sorry about that, y'all. <clears throat> so, okay. So there we go. It's removing Anemone, reloading, and then it should work after that. Here we go. Just waiting a little longer. For this to load, then we'll go ahead and restart our springboard and hope for the best. Okay, restart springboard. There we go. Once again, y'all, sorry for the blur. Alright, let's go. Hustle it up. Come on. Okay, so we're uh, restarting our springboard here. This shouldn't take too long. And there we go. So now we're going to go once again, try to open wallpaper, and if this works, then we'll go ahead and test iFile. Settings, wallpaper. Okay, so notice this. The first time I opened it, did you not I notice a little bit of lag? So usually when you open something, it could also be the fact that I have no slow animations. You know, the thing that makes your device run a lot faster. So if you may have noticed, I am running a lot faster than normal. Let's say I opened Safari, because that was another thing. I didn't show you guys, but that was another thing that was causing a boot loop, or a safe mode thing, was opening Safari. So that seems to work. Now we're going to go back into Cydia, and we're going to install iFile, which is another sort of tweak thing. Last time iFile failed to install, so hopefully it'll work this time. And we're going to go ahead and get the Bite Your Apple version of iFile, because the Insanely I version failed to download last time. So there we go, so we're just going to confirm it, downloading iFile. So it's preparing last okay, we did get we got the um red notification, so that's never good. So it's clearly not working. It it seems like iFile is just not working to download, so we might have to download something else. Maybe like by default. Another something that's not very small of a tweak. Okay, so that didn't seem to work at all. And if we go to our home screen, iFile should not be there, right? Because it's failed to download. Okay. So iFile just doesn't want to work, and I'm not going to pay how much is I don't even know. I'm not going to. It's not even supported. So maybe if we hit install. Whoa. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Why not? Install the official version. It's probably going to fail again. Hopefully nothing too bad will happen. Yep, it's just, it's just not compatible with my version, I guess. Which is weird, because I've used iFile before on here. 
on the same um, type of phone and on the same iOS version. It was running the same iOS version. So that didn't work, so we're going to return to Cydia and... Yep, no iFile. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and download Bytefont. And I know that works. I know Bytefont 3 works. So B-Y-T-A, Bytefont 3. Install this. This is another big ticket I/O. Another, you know, another application, another tweak that does take up a lot of memory, just because it's an app, not a tweak. Go ahead and wait a little bit longer here. The video hit around 15 minutes, so not bad at all. We found our problem spot pretty early. That was the good part. Okay, let's go ahead and reboot the Springboard. I'll wait for that to load. So we seem to have fixed our overall safe mode problem. It's pretty much anemone is just not working. All right, so we wait for the boot to load. Here we go. Okay, so by default three. Oh yeah, I have the auto the touch thing on. Okay, so there we go. Let's go ahead and open this. Let's get the badges. Okay, so here we go. So now we're going to go to the same wallpaper. Now we have by default installed. Going to go to wallpaper and see if it opens. Okay, so it did open. So clearly it looked like something was wrong with anemone, and that seems to be where our problem is. So, um, yeah, we also that's we pretty much figured it out. So we're pretty much, let's try to lock our device. And everything works. So there we go. So we have essentially fixed the safe mode. Um, so now we do not have any safe mode random boots anymore. Uh, we have successfully installed tweaks. Clearly, it was anemone that was causing our problem. So you guys, if you're having the same problem, be sure to you know hit me up and we can you know maybe video chat and I can try to fix your problem or just request a troubleshoot video. Either way, guys, Jacob from JC Tech Spot. Thank you for watching. This is troubleshoot session number one.